AWS Lambda layers are designed to help you move common code out of your Lambda and into somewhere else that is shared between these Lambdas. With a layer, you can apply it onto as many Lambdas as you want, and each Lambda can have up to five different layers applied to it. This means you could have a layer that it has, say, Axios on it, and you could have 20 different Lambdas that all use that layer to include Axios. But if one of them also needs Moment, you can have a layer with Axios and a separate layer with Moment. Each Lambda can have up to five different layers on it, so it allows you a lot of flexibility in how you apply these layers onto the Lambdas. To upload a layer, we need to create a zip file containing all the files we want in the layer. So what I've done to keep this all tidy is I've created a Lambda Layers folder inside my repo with uh, the Lambdas folder just next to it. So what we need to do is CD into Lambda Layers and now we can create a new folder for a demo layer. So we're going to make directory on demo layer. So inside this Lambda Layers we've now got a demo layer. So inside this we need to add a folder for the runtime. So because we're using Node.js we're going to have to make a directory called Node.js. So make directory Node.js and that appears just there. So we need to again cd into Node.js. So now that we're in here we need to install the files and the libraries that we want to have access to through this layer. So first we need to do an npm init and this is going to add node to uh, npm to this folder. So now you can see we've got a package JSON. Now what we can do is we can install the packages. So for this example we're going to be using moment so if you do npm install dash dash save moment and hit enter, this is going to install moment and add it, there we go, into our node modules just there. Now that we've got this, we need to zip up all of these files together so that we can upload it to AWS. First, we need to move out of the Node.js directory into the demo lambdas demo layers one, so cd dot dot slash. So now we're in this folder structure and we need to zip everything together. We can do this either by right clicking and trying to compress in maybe in Windows or in the finder, but we're going to use a command line for it. So we can just use zip minus r. So that's going to recursively go through every folder and add them all together. The next parameter we need to pass through is the name of the file we're going to zip all of these folders into. So we're going to call that demo layer.zip. And the final parameter we need to pass through is the files that we want to pass in. We want to pass in everything inside this demo layer folder. So we're going to use dot slash star. Hit enter and it's going to package up everything inside that demo layer so it's node.js, node modules, all the moment files all up there and as you can see it's created a demo layer.zip file that's great so the next step is uploading it to AWS so now we're in the AWS console and we're under AWS Lambda on the left hand side we have the functions which is just the list of every function you've got, but we've also got layers. This is how we create a new layer. So if we go into here, currently we have no layers, but we can click create layer. So this is the page where we can set up a new layer. First we need to give it a name, so we're gonna call it demo layer. We can give it a description, which is adding moment to a lambda 
Down here we can upload our file. We have the option to upload it as a zip file or upload it from S3. We're going to go with a zip file because that's what we've been working towards. We can click upload and then we just need to select our demo layer.zip which we created in the last part. Open that up and the last thing we need to do is select the compatible runtimes. So I'm just going to go with node 8.10 because it uses async so that's what we're going to go with. And at the bottom we can click create. Once this is created we'll have a new layer and we can do with that what we want, we can include it into other lambdas, and that's what we're going to try next. So to test this layer, I've created a lambda called demo with layer. Inside this, if we scroll down, I've added some code. So this is going to require in the moment library. Inside the handler, it's then going to use moment now equals moment dot now to get the current time. It's then going to send a response which is just the stringified object of moment now. So we need to first test what it happens when we run this without a layer. To do this, go up to the top and we can configure a test event. Because we're not actually using the event object, we can leave the default values and just give it a name. So call it test and create that test file. Now, when we run this test, we get an execution result of failed. When we look inside, it says error message cannot find module moment. And that's what we expect because if you scroll down again, in here, we haven't actually got any node modules. So there's no way for this Lambda to know about moment. The way we can fix this is by adding our layer. So if we scroll up into this designer, and select layers. Scroll back down to the bottom and we've got reference layers. At the moment we don't have any so we can click add a layer. In this page we now get to select the runtime, uh, select the layer that we want that is compatible with our runtime. If you forgot to add the runtime onto your layer then you won't have anything in here. But in here we have demo layer which we created just before and the version we're going to go with version 2 always go with the most recent version because that's the one you just uploaded if we now hit add and we save this lambda take a little bit of time and now we're going to rerun this test what's going to happen is this lambda is now going to have access to that layer so it's going to succeed and we're going to get a result of moment now equals that number, which is the Unix time for now. So that just shows that everything has worked. Our layer has got the NPM package in and everything is working as we would expect. If you want, you can go back in, add other node modules into that package. You can create other packages. So you could create one package that has, say, Axios, Moment and Async or you could create a different package for whatever combination of node modules you want. This then means that you don't have to include them all into every single Lambda if you use the same libraries in a lot of similar Lambdas. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you've learned something new, you can subscribe by clicking the button down here and you'll get loads more videos on how to build systems that are serverless. And if you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video down here. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you again next time.